Welcome back everyone, it's Gamer41 here, and now it's time to take on Calamite. And she's gone. Actually, I never gave her the soul, so I never knew what actually happened to her. It's like as she goes away. Now in the last video, um, you notice Jester, the old butthole molester over here, he actually, uh, Invaded us, so you can actually go talk to him now and see what he has to say. Oh, you. You have quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine then. What is it that you need? So, yeah, he's pissy that um, you killed him. But whatever. Believe it or not, Ulysseel has brought the abyss upon itself, fooled by that toothy serpent. They upturned the grave of primeval man and incited his ornery wrath. What could they have been thinking? Ah, to you and I, it's all ancient history. You have to ask yourself, does it really matter? <laughs> nah, I guess it don't. Anyway. Ah, uh, see, so do I need to buy... I can I need to buy plenty of Homer bones? I'll be seeing you uh -huh. if you so. Shit, not if I see you first, buddy. Alright, Calamite's down here, and we've already done all the setup work to get him to actually be there, so. He's not too terribly difficult. Uh, the only difficult part about him is um, once you learn his attacks, he's pretty much easy. You can just, you know where to dodge and everything. But uh, his. Uh, the hardest thing to do with him is to cut off his tail to get the obsidian greatsword, which I'm not going to do. Not with this damn longsword. It has no range. You need a weapon that's got some reach on it. Because there's only a, a few times during his uh, few of his attacks you actually get a chance to actually hit the, hit his tail. And you got to hit it in, in you know, just the right spot to actually get the... You know, and it takes about seven or eight hits. I mean, it's not something that you know you can... You can do easily. Let's go ahead and get set up here. Uh, let me use the other type of resin I got. Or I thought I had. Oh well. I actually saw this guy get one-shotted. Somebody done a plunging attack off this and one-shotted him. And here he comes. Damn. Wasn't ready for that. I die here. <laughs> Fuck it, wasn't ready for that. Alright. <laughs> anyway. It's been a few days since I played, so I'm a little out of it, I guess. Now his uh his only real major attack that kind of sucks dodging is uh, his um that first one he done on me where he kind of lunges up and lunges at you where he swings his claws one way his head the other it's just, I can never seem to dodge that one right but all most of his other attacks are uh, pretty easy to dodge as you can see even though I dodged it it took like all my stamina broke my guard probably because the shield is shit or it's not that it's shit it's just I've not upgraded it. We'll head back down here and fight him again. You just gotta whittle him away. I mean, like I say, he's not—he's not too hard. You don't want to get him in a corner. Damn it! 
Oh god, fuck you and your bullshit dodge. Got time for this shit. Get over here and cut this dragon's ass. I'm not even gonna use my resin on him because fuck it, I just wasted it anyway. Let's try this again. Oh shit, I thought you your damn way. Oh well. I guess it'd probably help if I was two-handed my weapon. But no, swing at his crotch, not his face. He does that usually three rolls when you're out of the out of the range of his thing. Cut the butt. Cut it. Now you don't want to get hit by that. If he hits you with that, he lifts you up in the air and he puts the evil eye on your ass. And uh, what it does is... Uh, it, it makes you take double damage for a certain amount of time. And you definitely don't want to be taking double damage on this dude. Is weird. Lock on bullshit, can't see. Damn it. Good thing I was down for that, because that would have killed me. Oh, nice. Didn't expect that one. Hardly ever see him do that, actually.
Probably shouldn't be undering like this. Come on now. I don't know. I feel like I should be doing more damage with the plus 15 weapon. I guess is where I'm not. I'm used to using like you know a magic weapon and all that. And I just don't have it because Brienne don't use magic. So this is basically just a pure melee run, which I've never actually done. Now's not the time to get greedy. Ah, you dick. Hey, is he not taking... Is he not taking damage there? No, and you don't want to do Sif's staying under him like this is not really, you not really want to do that. But hell, it worked. Okay. And that is how you start a nuclear war. Yes. Now, there's a couple things you can get down here. There's some souls, and uh, now, if you're stumped on how to actually get this fight to work, a lot of people just come down here, and if you come down here without golf shooting him, he just flies across this hair and blows fire on you, and you die. I mean, there's no way. You can dodge it one way, but you can't dodge it the second way. However, if you're able to make it out over here, there's some, uh, if only Hawkeye were here. Try Sniper. <laughs> so... And then you actually see God's great arrows. You can get some right there. So that's your clue to go talk to him about this. And you would think if Goth was such a you know badass archer that he could just shoot all of them in the damn head <laughs> with this bow and just take care of it. But uh, there's one more thing you can get over here. It's behind the waterfall. <clears throat> I believe it's a uh, white titanite slab. I believe. Oh, Tanai Slab. Okay. Well, that's crazy. This run, I have gotten three of those. And, uh... If I hadn't uh, screwed up talking to Zygmeier, I could have actually gotten four. Wow. So now, the only... Um, boss we have left is Mandus. Mandus, Mandus... Whatever. And he is absolutely the worst boss I hate fighting in this damn game. I assume take on Bad of Chaos before him. I don't know, man. It seems like... Maybe I should have gotten a... Um, went, like, the Chaos route with, like, an enchanted weapon, a Chaos weapon, or a lightning sword, or something like that, instead of just a... Pure plus fifteen. Mm. I don't know all the ins and outs of, of all the weapons mechanics and all that, like some of the other gurus do. But you know, most times I'll play a uh, play like the fighter mage type thing and do the you know have have the weapon enchantments for my weapons and be wearing plate armor and all that or. 
All right. Well, let's head on down to Ustiel. And I think I'm going to stay at level 60. 60 seems to be about a good level. I got more than enough health to beat the game. More health than I usually have. Um, so, I guess I could pump up my strength and uh, try to get a little bit more damage out of things. I could always use some more endurance. I'll be able to get that and one more. Uh, let's see. That gives me a little bit more damage. Yeah, why not? This. Well, that giving myself more dexterity gives me more than. Let's go with that. Calm down, Foxglove. Calm down. My cat, she's going ape shit. Uh -huh. Alright, we just gotta make our way back down here. And Miss Perry's. Alright. Yeah, it could be my problem. Maybe I need to just buff my strength a little bit. Oops. Now oh, 55. Totally need to upgrade this bow. Oops. Come on now. Ah, shit. I'm missing the damn parries. Damn. Ooh, I got a bloated head. Nice. That some bitch on. Yes. <laughs> That's nasty as fuck. A little bit better looking than her face, though. Alright, we just need to make our way back down here, and I'm not gonna just run my ass down there. How am I missing my damn parries? What the hell? Alright, well. Hit the shortcut. Which I'd actually forgotten I'd unlocked. Because I thought I was going to have to run all the way back down through there. Alright, here. Now we got this little place here. Oh boy, I wish I had the damn fog ring or the freaking... Uh, that one spell. Did you get a little... You get a little uh, ambush here. But that's not the worst part. The ambush is alright, manageable. It's those two little fuckers over there standing on the damn steps. Because they're both casters. And like I said, they uh, cast magic that does a shit ton of physical damage. And if I get hit by both of them, I'm pretty fucked. God. As you can see. Yeah, I might be poisoned. Fuck you. Their, uh, I believe their, uh, normal attack does, a uh, their hand attack actually, I think it instantly poisons you or has a high thing of poisoning you. Not that. Let me, uh, okay. Now this fucking thing here, man. This goddamn thing. I think it's supposed to be a play on like the Legion thing from like Demon Souls, but this thing's a fucking asshole. Yeah, I'm not doing no fucking damage to it. Man, fuck off. I ain't fighting you. Oh, the bad thing is he follows you down here. I should have ran further back. Or maybe he'll forget about me. Or maybe he won't. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Let's go down. Let's go down. There we go. There we go. 
And now we're at the Chasm of the Abyss. Alright guys, we're going to leave it off right here, and then next time we will make our way down and see what happens in the abyss. Probably a nuclear war. We'll see you then.